guys, welcome to part five, actually. Get lost here, um, because I'm working on some different projects. Um, so part five is the belt tensioning assembly, the pulley, uh, that pulley, and the motor. So the power assembly, pretty much. Um, part six will be the gearbox, just because I think that's gonna be the probably, well, I don't know, if, yeah, I guess it'll be the most complicated, most little moving parts going on. So, all right, so I've already kind of cleaned this with some degreaser, but I'm going to take it all apart. Yeah, it looks like the guy had painted the handle. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take all this apart and clean it all up nice. I'm going to get that. How's that help? Okay, well, how about that thing? All right, so. That's hell on there. I gotta get this off, maybe. Make it. Let me find a way to. I don't know if it's. There we go. Yeah, so I thought. I figured it was like a lock pin or something in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna buff all this out, get all the rust off. I might have not paint that, maybe. Looks like that just pops out. There's something really hold it in. Yeah, it's, you can just feel how stiff the there's a, the oil solidified like all, all the other parts of it. So I'm guessing that's just the same thing with this one. Just gotta tap, just tap the pin out here. I don't see. I'm looking for a set screw maybe to that's holding it in place, but it doesn't look like it is. So all right, so I'm gonna knock that out. All right, so I got the motor assembly painted. Um. All right, let me show you the actual motor. I gotta go through the motor. Yeah, I, you know, I'm skipping back and forth a lot just because I'm, I'm painting things and cleaning things and soaking things. Um, all right, so I got the belt, the main belt pulley back on. And I still gotta put the handle the latch on the tensioner. Oh, that nice and good. Belt's brand new, so <clears throat> like I said, I, w I wasn't sure if I was gonna go with that link belt, but. I don't know. I, I didn't really like the idea of the link belt. Um, I know even though this is a total headache, but now that I know how to do it, I can get it off in a couple minutes. All right, so I rolled up the thrust bearings, so you can see there's a kind of a big gap. So I got to make sure. I mean, I'm gonna make sure that the belts are aligned here and here. I might need to bring this up a, a couple of millimeters this way a little bit more, where I can get the clearance. You know, this guy's. A, I guess I can move that shaft over. It's gonna be hard to get in there, but um, you know, get the perfect alignment done for this thing right here. Um, all right, let's get this a shot. So I figured what will happen is that the oiling from here, because it comes out the side, right? It's no place to go. So every time we oil it, it's gonna leak out and hit the lubricate the thrust bearings. Plus, I can just you know quickly go, you know, like that. All right, let's see this. I haven't even run this yet, so I don't know if it's gonna make a difference or blow up the machine or let's see. All right, no more noise. I, mean, I figured that's what it was. I mean, it was just riding against, you know, the side. All right, no more that weird grinding noise. Wah, 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 humming noise. Yep, just some six star thrust bearings. But like I said, I, don't, I haven't got the cover on yet, so I don't know how much that's going to affect it. Because in theory, it's about 8 millimeters, 4 millimeters on each side. Pulley's out, you know. I guess you can see. Like, normally the pulley would be, you know, all against it. The shaft would be to the very end of it, so probably about 8 millimeters out. Alright, nice and quiet. That's how I like it.